Well, good morning. Today I'm out on another walk. Um, sun's out, and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day, so I'll probably be stripping off layers shortly. Um, the walk today is a place called Ranscombe Farm. It's approximately about four and a half, five miles. Um, never been here before, so I'm quite looking forward to it. It's very, very bright, so again, I'm going to have a few problems filming. I'm probably going to have to film away from the uh, sunlight most of the time, which, which is a shame, but it is nice to see the sunshine. Anyway, we're heading that way, so let's crack on. Ranscombe Farm covers a total area of 560 acres on the slopes of the North Downs and provides opportunities for quiet walks amongst attractive countryside with fascinating flora. The Ranscombe Farm landscape includes arable habitats, extensive ancient woodlands and fragments of chalk grassland. A large part of the site is within Cobbenwood's site of special scientific interest and the whole farm is within the Kent Downs area of outstanding natural beauty. Well, I managed to get myself a little bit lost and I hardly left the car park, but uh, I believe I'm on what is part of the North Downs way. And uh, I know that there's a lot of markers in this nature reserve. So once I pick up a marker, I've got a map in my pocket. I should get back on some kind of course. As I said in my brief intro, it's a Absolutely beautiful day today, bright sunshine. The only uh, downside for me is I managed to lose my windshield on my lav mic on the way here. So I'm just hoping that the wind noise doesn't uh, cause too much disturbance on the recording. Well, here's another tip for anybody that's going out for a walk and videoing that's wearing a lav mic. Um, I've put the lav mic on before leaving home, so I've secured it to my clothing and I've got it concealed. But what I should have done was remove the windshield because as soon as I put the seatbelt on, it popped off. They're only tiny and uh, I just couldn't find it anywhere. So. Uh, there's your tip. Take your windshield off and put it on once you're out of your car. Well, I'm very much hoping as I get further into my walk that uh, I get into a bit of cover so that the wind doesn't affect the audio. It's a lovely breeze. It's um, already quite warm, but the breeze is keeping me nice and cool. Well, there are some absolutely cracking views to the left of me there. I can't um, pan back towards the way I come because that will be directly into the sunlight. So I've just got to do the best I can. There's a lovely view of the Kent countryside. Well, I just diverted off track there and uh, climbed up a steep muddy bank just to find I was going into a private field so I had to slide back down it again. Lesson learned. I hope this is coming out but yes there's a housing estate there but look at the view they've got straight up the hill. The River Medway is just to the left of me there and it's uh, winding its way around towards Rochester. Well 
we're away from the main road now the main a road that i came up so at least we've lost the road noise and all i can hear now is distant trains the wind and the sound of birds chirping sounds of the uh, spring something to look forward to and something to raise our spirit well I've now turned right and I believe I go uphill for some way fork left towards Birchwood Corner as I said earlier this is all new to me so um, every so often I'm having to stop and try and get my bearings and have a look at the map Well, after the brow of the hill, I came to uh, basically a T-junction. If you turned right, you'd go into private land, farmland, and I turned left towards Broadwood Corner. Unfortunately, I couldn't film it because there was quite a few dog walkers at that point, and everyone was sort of stopping to let each other by. I didn't want to be intrusive. Oh, such a beautiful day. weather's due to turn again tomorrow so uh, I had to take this opportunity to get out today probably the only walk of the week well when I reach Birchwood Corner I'm going to turn right and take the path through Cobham Woods there's literally miles and miles of paths through this nature reserve and being the first time I've come here I'm having to uh, refer to the map but um, the good news is I'm actually heading for Darnley Mausoleum and that's my turn point but I can come back on a different track where a lot of my walks obviously you walk from A to B and then from B back to A so uh, on this one I literally get different views on the way back which um, suits me fine some lovely tall trees to the right of me there. In a couple of months time they'll be in full bloom. And considering it's still early March, this is absolutely, um, we're getting some wonderful days, some very, very nice days. Right, better get on with a walk. I believe this is Birchwood Corner although there's nothing here to indicate it is but I'm going to turn right take the right path there is two ways I'll take the right and I believe this leads up to Froze Corner where I'll be turning five Froze where I'll be turning left and then it's more or less straight on to the mausoleum I did do my homework before I came out on this walk. In fact, uh, I had this walk bookmarked for several weeks ago. I've got several maps, but it's always different once you get there. And like I said, there's so many paths. I was in the car park and I uh, thought I know, knew which way to go. I do now, I took the wrong turn. Um, live and learn. This, this will definitely be a, a place that I'll, because it's quite local, that I'll come back to and walk again. Because it's absolutely stunning. And obviously we're still winter, just coming on spring. So everything changes in the different seasons. Haven't seen many people as yet. I think I've seen... Um, 
they've all been dog walkers and I think I've probably seen about yeah four four dog walkers in all with some very friendly dogs been a bit of tree culling to the left of me there even the the tall trees they still look absolutely wonderful without their leaves on makes it very easy to see the birds nests right, I'm turning left or forking left here I'm gonna go through the kissing gate I just hope I'm on the right track surprised there's still uh, large puddles of mud about really can't remember the last time it rained oops let's step over that it certainly looks like we're walking through the woods so uh, I do think we're on the right track oh it's so peaceful up here Well, I'm coming up to quite a steep ascent now. <laughs> Maybe I should have took the other track, that looks straighter. I'll see you at the top. I think once I reach the mausoleum I might stop for a bite to eat and then uh, get this hoodie off. It's warm enough to just be in my polo top. We're on a nice straight flat path for a bit now, heading up towards the mausoleum. I've seen this uh, path and this route on several videos I watched on YouTube, so I more or less know where I am at the moment. My apologies about the uh, wind noise. I explained earlier I've lost my wind sock off my mic although to in all fairness it probably would have been just as bad had I been using the internal mic of the camera you get what you get when you're out and about Well, it seems I may not have been in Cobham Woods when I was coming up that uh, hill a little bit earlier because I've literally came along a path and through a gate and now I'm in Cobham Woods. That was still the nature reserve. Live and learn. 
Well, I just ventured off the track just slightly, just to uh, have a little look around. There's some very large trees down. And they, they look amazing. Back on track, heading towards the mausoleum. I can hear the traffic in the distance, which is a shame, but I'm sure uh, once the trees get their leaves back on, that'll uh, cut that out. Well, there we are, we finally reached the Darnley Mausoleum. And I'll stop here and uh, give you a bit of history on it. The Earls of Darnley were usually buried in Westminster Abbey, but by the late 18th century, their vaults were full. In his will, the third Earl, John Bly, left instructions for a mausoleum to be built at Cobham Park, Kent, where he and his descendants could be laid to rest in a grand manner. Of the detailed instructions he left in his will, it clearly stated that he wanted a square stone building with a prominent pyramid surrounded by a dry moat. After the Earl's death, the family commissioned architect James White to design a mausoleum following the instructions set out in his will. White exhibited his design at the Royal Academy in 1783, but due to a heavy workload, the mausoleum was built under the supervision of another famous architect, George Dance the Younger. The mausoleum was completed in 1786 at a cost of £9,000, which is well over £1 million at today's prices. But there was a problem, for reasons that remain unclear, possibly involving a dispute with the Bishop of Rochester. The Darnley mausoleum was not consecrated and could not be used for burial. Well, time for a 10 minute break, I think. Have a banana and a drink. My apologies uh, if you don't, didn't see all of the mausoleum. Again, as I'm going round it and circling it, I'm aiming directly into the sun, so I doubt I'll actually get any footage from that bit. <sighs> Fresh air. Well, I'm back on the track again now and uh, Heading back through Cobham Woods, trying to find my way back into the nature reserve. Haven't got a clue where I'm heading at the moment, but uh, that'll all become apparent. I'm hoping that this path heads down towards the nature reserve. Although at the moment I'm on the hunt for some highland cows, so I can hear them in the distance and I'm basically following cow pats. So uh, fingers crossed we'll get a glimpse of a few of the beasts. Ah, spotted one just off the path. They're actually, they're blending in beautifully with this background. Well, I 
I've just spotted my first Highland cow. I don't know if I'll see any deer today. And there it is. Well, I'm just going to stop by this kissing gate and uh, take a look at my map because I'm getting a little bit confused here. And it looks like I keep go to the right and keep going straight down. I'm in the thick of the woods now and it's extremely peaceful. Absolutely no noise at all other than a little bit of bird song. Could be a bit worrying, it means I, <laughs> could mean I'm on the wrong path but uh, I'm quite confident I'm going the correct way. Well, in theory, if I turn right here, go a little way down, turn left, I'm heading back the way I came, in theory. When I say the way I came, I don't mean doubling back on myself, I've taken a different route. I mean back to the car, back towards the car. And one thing's for sure, there's no one in these here woods. Well, now I'm turning left and fingers crossed, I'm on the right track. Other than that, I'm just going around in circles in the woods. Oh, well, it seems I got myself a little bit lost. I took a wrong turn and um, I've gone about two and a half miles out my way. Uh, fortunately I bumped into a couple of walkers who I spoke to earlier at a half decent map and uh, <clears throat> they pointed me back in the direction. Um, I was probably still two and a half miles from my start point so I've only really lost a well I've lost about four miles two miles the wrong way and two miles back but uh, Fingers crossed, I'm on the right track now. Well, two and a half hours since leaving the mausoleum and I'm <clears throat> back at it. However, at least I should know where I am from here. In the distance, I can see the gate. Which, uh, so I'll be exiting Cobham Woods and then going back into Ramscombe Nature Reserve. Uh, at the moment, that's a very, very friendly gate. It's a sight for sore eyes. Still got quite a way to go. Uh, probably about another hour to an hour and a half, literally walking. But uh, I'm fine. It's about 2 p.m. There's no forecast for rain or anything, so. Uh, it's just a longer walk than expected. Well, 
Well, what I've decided to do, I've decided to backtrack on the route I came in after making that error. Um, partly because my legs are getting a bit tired. I've done at least four, four and a half miles more than I anticipated. And uh, also, I don't want to get lost again. Uh, lesson learnt. You would have thought that obviously doing local-ish walks, I've not been here before, that I would have had a OS map for this area, but I haven't, so that's a lesson learnt. That'll be ordered tonight when I get home. Right, we're currently trekking through Birch Woods, going back down towards the North Down Lane, North Down Way. So uh, I'll get back to you in a bit. Well, I changed my mind. I am taking a slightly different route back for the for the views. Um, at the moment, I'm confident. I know where I'm going. So we'll see. Only time will tell. You can probably hear the motorway in the background. There's also the high speed rail link, channel rail link to my left. <clears throat> I've basically been following that for about half a mile. But, uh, I really didn't think it was of much interest to film it through a, a fence. A nice bit of cover, a nice bit of shade from the sun here. So. Hopefully not too far to go now, about half a mile. Well, I've finally emerged from the woods. It's a really hot one. I'll be interested to see what the temperature is today. And uh, as you can probably see in the distance there, that's the Medway Bridge. And the River Medway running along. So the last part in the woods, <clears throat> as much as the woods was nice, it's extremely noisy. Right, uh, well, a few mistakes there as a uh, as you already know. Uh, I say you, you live and learn, you think, well, it's only woods, it'll be okay, but you get 250 acres plus here, so um, it is quite easy to get lost, especially in the woods. There's very few people in them midweek. But uh, I found my way back, that's the main thing, and uh, I will learn by my mistakes, and I don't mind sharing my mistakes. Right, well, I'm going to leave it there, um, get myself home get yourself something to eat. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.